Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Shweta. Uh, thank you so much for joining call today and taking out your precious time. Uh, yeah. Uh, first of all, how are you? How are you doing? Hi. So, thanks a lot for inviting me for this interview. Um, so far, I'm doing great. It's weekend, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said thank you so much once again. Uh, so yeah, so I'll be asking few questions about. uh how you achieved this success how you uh, were able to crack big companies like microsoft walmart and how was your preparation planning and yeah stuff about stuff like this okay, okay. so yeah so my first question would be what motivated you to join this course how did you find out about us so basically i i was looking for a job switch and uh, since uh, right now if you want to crack any companies uh, then d- definitely you should be prepared with dsa and system design so then i was just looking for a class for online classes for system design uh, because i had no idea what all type of questions they ask in the interview so then i i started searching for online classes and through one of the mutual friend i got to know about uh, get sd ready and and then i uh, tried one of their demo classes and i really liked how instructor was taking the class and how he was uh, clearing out doubts and everything so then i thought of joining it okay awesome so how would you describe your experience all our experience uh so overall experience uh, it went uh, great like uh, i really enjoyed the learning process with uh, like with get sd ready i was able to have all my doubts clarified as well as whatever the additional uh, practice assignments then what all the questions they were asking in the classroom i was able to get it and i was also able to understand the course and uh, like i tried to and I, and then i try to put more efforts to like do some additional learnings as well and so even with that uh, the mentor really helped me so yeah i guess it was helpful and in in, in an interview quite during time of interview so I, i think most of the questions were quite relatable to what they have covered in the classes awesome awesome really nice uh, so i i mean uh, i would say ki which which part of the course especially would you say ki was most helpful during your transition like the system design dsa interviews how i only joined for system design class so <laughs> i okay. think for my system design interviews uh, mostly for hrds uh, it was quite useful mm-hmm. awesome awesome so yeah uh, so yeah how how i mean i would say i am going to ask you about your uh, package and all but yeah it's totally up to you uh you can share out the details or you can just uh keep it private that's up to you so i will just i mean how about you tell us more about how has this transition helped you with the oh, package and all for <coughs> package uh, i'm not sure that i would like to give a exact figure but uh, it did help me to land great company so yeah it had definitely been useful to me <laughs> so i would ask okay awesome thank you so much for that <laughs> okay so uh, i mean one one question that i always ask like how confident are you right now or even before interviews with the uh, system design because yeah so um right now i i have always prepared notes while taking the classes so even if i forget few of the concept i always refer to my notes and and even the instructor has provided the notes so even now i if i uh, if i go through my notes i was able to catch up whatever they have taken in the classes and mm-hmm. after attempting with all the sessions i i have only attended uh, six sessions before taking the system design interview and even at that time i was already feeling confident enough to uh, so few like during your first attempt definitely you won't be able to like uh, understand everything and was able to crack your system design in just one go so after few practices you, you can definitely able to 
like clear most of your interviews related to that so okay. yeah okay i mean do you have any specific example uh, like how it helped you during your interview process so in terms of specific uh, like uh, so uh, so the instructor has uh, taken all the basic concepts before starting with us uh, uh, hld or lld directly so i think those concepts has really uh, uh, helped me to understand or analyze the problem statements and and to think like which one of them should you apply to deal with this type of problem uh, especially for uh, microsoft uh, when during the final round when the interview has taken lot of questions related to hld so at, at that time i was able to understand like this can be used for for helping with this issue so yeah i think mm-hmm. it has been helpful okay so uh, like since you joined the course how much time would you say it took for you to be confident about your skills or uh, like whatever you are learning whatever you were learning by that time i think uh, it depends on people to people but for me it took around 2.2 and 2.5 months overall to feel confident enough so mm-hmm. I, i i'm not saying that i i can uh, i'm 100% good with it like but at least i have understood whatever they have covered in the classes so i'm confident with that learning but it depends on what they ask you in the interview awesome awesome so uh, so one more question is that uh, see we are more determined to always have live lectures so that instructors have some sort of interaction with the students all the time right so how would you say ki how is it uh, beneficial i mean is it beneficial at all to have a live session rather than the recorded one yeah because uh, it does does be beneficial because if you are attending the recorded one then you definitely not able to make much time out of your schedule but you just uh, delay it and you just postpone it like let's do it tomorrow or some other day but if a live session is happening then you know at this particular schedule you have to attend this session and also it's very good for your doubt clarification or if you are like stuck somewhere so it, it so you can just ask instructor to like uh, to re explain again so you can do that in live session as well but you don't feel that sort of like interest in learning something when you are like attending a recorded one because then mm-hmm. at, at that time maybe the multiple things are happening at at your side and then you are not able to focus and then you you are just pausing your videos multiple times and then you will just lose the interest and whatever wherever you are at so it's better to attend live sessions uh, so it will really help you to be focused at one particular pace and and then you can just uh, give like understand and ask doubts and everything awesome awesome thank you so much for that in depth answer thank you so much uh so yeah so <laughs> i would say is there any area of improvement that you feel we should be doing you should yeah, be working so it, in terms of scheduling i i do feel uh, <laughs> It, it can okay. be improved because mm-hmm. uh, uh, most of the time the timings are not fixed. Like, mm-hmm. like mostly, but it ha like it happens very rarely. Not not that much an issue for me. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Will. I'll surely take a note of this. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, uh, in terms of skills and knowledge, uh, how would you say that? How much have you improved and? what kind of special knowledge or or a unique or any any sort of unique knowledge that you got out of this course so um i have definitely improved in terms of system design and not with that i i was also like uh, it also helped me with uh, coding as well as we were also discussing few of the data structures during the system design classes uh so i think uh, definitely my knowledge has got improved okay and uh, has it also been helpful in problem solving like how do you approach any problem or any technical interview as such yeah for yeah it it definitely has helped me 
so um yeah they have also covered like how if someone ask you this question during the interview so how you can answer or what type of questions they can ask so yeah it has helped me with that hmm. okay okay awesome awesome so what would you say <laughs> would you like to refer this post to someone or any of your colleagues and why I have already referred this course to multiple people like to my ex colleagues who all are also looking for switch and then to my friends and to my uh, juniors or or like anyone who is looking for making a transition or or la- just not just transition but looking to improve their knowledge when it comes to data structures or or system design or web development anything like that because during college years it's it's very important that you also uh, focus on this areas along with uh, your course curriculum so i have already recommended so many people or uh, so far awesome thank you so much for that as well i didn't know <laughs> uh, well uh, yeah last question for you uh do you think we should add anything more to our courses so that uh, it becomes more beneficial to professionals like yourself so i think so far uh, you have courses for data structure then uh, system design and uh, then you have for web development full stack development but i think a, a sort of crash course can be introduced like to cover like people who are already are uh, familiar to programming so they can just uh, do a quick revision of uh, data structures or, or they can just solve high level problems and and then some of the system design can be covered along with few two three mock interviews so something like that you can add like crash course just if you are looking into this but awesome. if you are looking for uh, adding uh, additional tech stack then you can definitely add courses for uh, python or other additional things like machine learning and all that but i don't think that would be part of your what you are like teaching okay okay yeah i'll surely take this point up as well because we are uh, indeed planning to add some more uh, courses to like get a training camp or summer hmm. camp or yeah. crash course or fast paced courses something like mm-hmm. that you can add like this one shot so more people can join because lot of people are like like i don't want to attend the entire course it's it's a bit stretchy so i just like to go through with the crash course and like to try to do it so or, or just if you are look they are looking for a quick revision so or quick recap for the for them it sure. can be beneficial sure 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 uh, surely point point noted yes yeah, so <laughs> one final question uh so i see you had uh, multiple offers one from uh, microsoft and one from walmart and i think you chose to go with walmart so i would like to know what is the decision process behind choosing walmart over microsoft because i see lots of folks would always go with a brand name rather than a place where uh, a place where you might be learning more so i, I just want to know ki, what is your thought process here I also had one offer from Expedia as well. Oh, wow. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> yeah, you didn't mention that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but yeah. yeah, now now I'm pretty pretty excited to hear from you. Like what was your decision uh, making process? So now process? I'm at this point of my career where uh, job stability matters to me uh, as compared to compensation and also like learnings and all that is really mm-hmm. matters to me because i have faced a layoff before so i don't want to go through again so mm-hmm. uh, due to which uh, i decided to go with and also when i was really looking for a job at that time walmart was the one who offered me uh, the job and then the other offers came so i i really didn't wanted to leave walmart because i had great team and i was also learning so i'm also learning so many great things here so that's why i thought to better continue here instead of jumping again to different company at in very in such short span of time wow that's a really good thought i mean i mean it's a good message for i think every folk out there that learning matters at this point of time rather than brand name so i mean that's a, that's a really great point to be honest so here i was having like work life balance then 
a great supportive mm-hmm. team and everything is looks good here so i didn't mm-hmm. really, and it supported me with relocation and all other things so i it, i really didn't want it to uh, leave at right now so as i i, I thought of kanti awesome awesome thank you so much any any message for our viewers that you would like to give any any sort of message only if you have to okay <laughs> <laughs> so like most of you you most of uh, juniors or even college student they ask uh, mentors and they ask same question like what you can do new or what you can do to crack any good company and even i used to ask the same question to everyone but mm-hmm. but to whoever you ask this question they will give you the same answer you know so the answer is always simple like you just have to practice more and more like just you have to get your hands dirty on uh, on dsa or whatever the project based learning you are doing so the more you practice then only uh, consistently then only you will able to achieve whatever goals that you have set your mind to so that's the only message like try to explore things from yourself learn from yourself and practice more and more Awesome. That's a, that's I a lovely know. message to me. <laughs> that's a really lovely message to me. Same message Thank for you. myself as well. So yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much once again, Shweta, for taking your valuable time to give us feedback about this course, about your journey. I mean, it's it's really inspiring to see you reach at this point because we have personally seen how hardworking you were, like the way you were attending all the. uh sessions and all like it was really really uh, really great to see and even the even the instructor who who, who remembers you still <laughs> yeah so he is also very happy with what you have achieved so yeah feel free to yeah feel free to drop a message to us or uh, any time any time and yeah if you yeah, yeah thank you so much once again it was really uh, great to have you here and we wish you all the very best from get us the ready thank you so much thank you thank, thank you, you for taking my interview